Hey everyone, Becky from Week 99 er here. I have a new matter box. This is the last one I'm getting. Um, I thought, well, I actually might get one more. I thought I had unsubscribed last month. Um, while I really enjoyed the subscription box, for me, I'm coming to a point I don't know what I'm going to do with kind of some of this stuff. So I have canceled this one um, and smart ass and sass as well. And I'm trying out another one this month. We already did um, get out of the way, Jack. Get out of the way. Um, we already did one review of the box that I've just started, um, but it's mostly um, they sent me it and now I'm actually trying it out as a paid customer because I enjoy the box that much. So the matter box that we're getting into today gives you five different pieces of scientific uh, goodies each month so you get to indulge your brain um, and if you want 10% off there is a code which is black hole and you get to try out different and check out different scientific things some of them are museum grade and I find it very very interesting um, you know some of the stuff that they have in here um, and each month you get five different scientific things so first thing when we get in here we have this nice little collection and Jack in front of the camera again. Get down, buddy. Get down. So you have this nice little collection inside. One of these, I already kind of saw the card. I am not going to open it up for you. Um, that is something that we will kind of look at later. So we have a Bristol Cone Pine. We have some of the seeds. Here. So if you can see those or not, I'm not sure. So you can start growing your own pine trees. So that's kind of cool. What I am not opening up, I'm guessing, is in this thing here. Um, I'll be giving this to my nephew because this is right up his alley. This is an owl pellet. So this is actually owl puke. Usually when um, owls puke, you find like bones and um, full animal carcasses in there. This, I did this in Girl Scouts years ago. Um, I don't really have the need to go through this again. So this I will make sure goes to my nephew. We also have petrified wood, which I believe is this one. I totally could be wrong. Yes. Well, we have six things in here today. So I am not quite sure what is going on. But this is the petrified wood. Um, it just pretty much looks like a rock, but you can see some of the striations in here. So that's really cool. This will add to our rock collection or my nephew's. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with all of this stuff yet, but we're going to figure out what we'll do with them eventually, I'm sure. We have a little bit of gallium. Um, and gallium is used in electronics and has a melting point of 85 degrees or just above room temperature. So this summer... Um, when it gets over 80 in the house because we don't have air conditioning, this will probably be liquid. And that'll be kind of interesting to see. And then the last thing we have in here, um, actually we have two more things. I totally lied. So we have a humidity indicator. So the colors will change, um, determines the humidity exposure. So if it's in the pink, danger of pink change desiccant. So I'm not quite sure. Read at lavender between blue and pink. So we're at about 30% apparently. But I'm going to have to learn how to play with this. Card can be reset if placed in a dry container such as a sealed bag with desiccant or rice for 24 hours. So this is reusable. You can check the humidity with this so it's kind of cool. And then the last thing we have, I just made a mess of this total box here, you guys. Um, and I've lost the card. We have a dolerite blue stone. So this is from the Stonehenge Quarry. So this is, um, we actually have an article on our website about um, visiting Stonehenge, and I will make sure I put a card up there. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's really, for me, it was one of the weird experiences because driving there, um, seeing it on the side of the highway was not what I imagined Stonehenge to be. But this one is kind of cool because this type of stone was likely used to build Stonehenge. 
uh, because it was believed to have healing properties. We now know this isn't true, uh, which is kind of sad, but this is kind of a neat little stone, and seeing as I've been to Stonehenge, it means just a little bit more. So that is, um, I believe, the February box for Matter. We do have one more coming. I think it's being prepared right now. They've already charged me for this month. Um, so this one you get, I believe it's $40 a month, and you get five to six different scientific kind of thingies in there. Um, anything we've got in um, dinosaur poo to uh, Zimbabwe money to apparently owl pellets. So it's kind of geeky. It's kind of fun um, if you have a science nerd in your life or if you like this type of thing. So I will leave uh, the link below and um, the discount, 10% discount below as well. So if you're interested in getting this for yourself or for someone else, you can subscribe. Um, so we will be back. I'm not sure what day that this is going live, but we are doing videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We have a lot coming this year. Um, a lot of fun, interesting things that uh, we've been able to do that we're still currently working on it. One coming up in the next few weeks is we will be actually redoing this whole office um, to make it work better for doing videos and for doing um, office work because what you can't see on the other side of this camera is I have two nice monitors to work from that I never use. So uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We will be back with you uh, later this week. Bye.